Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Uh, today's question comes from Regina Garcia. He asks, uh, which sign of the cross is better, the old one or the new one? And he refers specifically to the uh, signs of the cross made in the Russian church, the old one being with uh, these three fingers joined and these two extended, these two extended symbolizing uh, the two natures of Christ, and the new one being three fingers joined to symbolize the Most Holy Trinity, uh, two fingers uh, that symbolize the two natures of Christ, which are folded in order to emphasize our belief in uh, the Incarnation. <coughs> Uh, the hand gesture for both signs is from, uh, you know, forehead, navel, right shoulder, left shoulder, so no differences there. Um, thank you for your question, Regina. Um, uh, I'll simply quote the great Seraphim of Sarov. Uh, he said that the new uh, sign of the cross is better uh, because um, uh, because it contains more teachings in one uh, in one gesture you have the most holy trinity you have uh, the two natures of christ you have incarnation uh, uh, so you basically have the entire christianity at the palm of your hand so that was his uh, that was uh, his opinion and i agree with it even though uh, even in the canonical uh, russian orthodox church you will have the old sign um, with the old believers who have returned to communion with the canonical uh, Russian Orthodox Church. Um, I'll simply end this with the great saying of uh, Saint Seraphim of Sarov, uh, who said that uh, men pile sins upon their shoulders, and those sins are like a villain cape that constantly keeps getting caught into the revolving doors of hell. And if we wish to save ourselves from the spinning doom behind us, we need to unbuckle ourselves from that cape with confession. Amen. Bye.